Welcome back. In the previous video, we learned how to integrate the Convey API into Omniverse. We saw how to download the Convey extension, get an API key, and enable the extension. In this video, we'll take it a step further and learn how to create custom characters and animations. Then we'll use Convey to trigger those animations. Let's get started. We'll start here with the demo stage that we saw in the previous video. In this tutorial, we're going to use ActorCore Real Illusion characters. First, we'll download a new character and a set of animations. We'll head over to their website and under our account, we'll take a look at the inventory where you can access both free and paid assets. Any assets you choose to buy will also appear in the inventory. From there, we'll select one of the characters we purchased previously and go ahead and download it. Make sure that the target application is set to Omniverse. We'll also download some animations, so head over to the Motion tab. Actually, use the Motion tab that's under Inventory. We'll pick up a few animations here, so check Multiple Select, and let's select an idle animation first. We also need a talking animation because we're going to replace both of those in Omniverse. Let's also choose a couple of animations that we can trigger with Convey. Let's choose this dance animation and a kick animation. To download those, make sure you select your character and hit next. Double check that it is set for Omniverse and hit download. You'll see we've downloaded two zip files. One is a character folder that holds our character USD file. We can drag and drop that into Omniverse under world. At this point, let's also remove the old character. Now let's add the downloaded animations. In the motion folder, just grab the four files and drag and drop them into the world as well. Okay, that's it for the new character import. Now we need to connect it to convey. Under world, you'll notice that there's an action graph and an animation graph. Next, locate the skeleton root of your new custom character. We need to right click on that and add visual scripting. Here we need to make sure to add action graph. We'll also need to right click and add an animation graph. Make sure you add the one that's in the scene. Now let's edit the animation graph. You'll see that the skeleton is set to the old character skeleton. Remove that and then let's set that to the skeleton of our new character. Once that's done, we need to open up the animation graph to make some changes. In the animation graph, you'll notice that we have a state machine that drives the animations. If you open that up, you'll see we currently have just two states, talk and idle. You'll remember that we have new animations for talk and idle, so let's replace those now. Open up the idle animation and let's delete the old version. Otherwise, there'll be compatibility issues. Then we can drag in the new idle animation and connect it up. Now we'll do the same thing for the talk state. Let's go into that state and like before, remove the old animation and replace it with the new one that is compatible with our new character. Okay, let's save this and give it a quick test. Back in the viewport, press play. Hey, who are you? Hi there, I'm Alex. I'm a creator within the Omniverse community. I specialize in building and exploring virtual worlds. What brings you here to the Omniverse? Okay, so the idle and talking animations are working correctly, but we need to change the voice. So to do that, let's go back to the Convey website and make sure you're logged in so we can go to the dashboard. Let's take a look at the character description for Alex. We can either create a new character or just use the existing character and just change the voice. I picked a female voice and clicked update. Okay, back in Omniverse, let's try it again. Hey, tell me more about you. Sure, I'm passionate about creating immersive virtual worlds that can be explored and experienced by users from all over the world. I'm constantly pushing the boundaries of what's possible within Omniverse. And I love to take on new challenges and learn new techniques. What about you? Perfect. The next step will be to add the two new animations that we downloaded. Those were the kicking and dancing animations. So we'll see how those integrate with Convey. Let's go back to the animation graph and we'll add two new states to the state machine. We'll call one kicks and the other one dances like this. These will transition from the idle. We'll drag out a line from the idle to these two animations. When the animations are finished, we want them to go back to idle, so we'll drag a line back to idle from these two. Now we need to attach our animations to these states, so we'll go into Kicks and bring in our new Kicks animation and attach it. Just make sure that it doesn't loop by unchecking the loop option. We'll do the same thing for the dance animation, so we'll go into that state and add the new animation. 
And once again, make sure that loop is unchecked. Since the dance animation is actually quite long, we'll change the end time to be 8 seconds. Now we need to configure the transitions. That is, when do these transitions happen? Double click on the transition line and over here on the left we'll insert a condition. We'll insert the compare variable condition. Over here we have a variable called state. We'll set this up so that when state has the valued kicks, the transition will occur. Now we need to set the opposite transition. Essentially, we'll go back from kicks to idle when the animation is done. How do we know that? For this, we'll use the condition time fraction crossed. Here we'll set it so that when 100% of the animation has played, we'll transition back to idle. Now we'll quickly do the same thing for dances. Again, when we go from idle to dance, we'll use the condition compare variable. And we'll set this so that when state has the value dances, the transition will occur. And we'll only go back when the animation is complete. One last thing is that for the transitions, we want to set a duration of about two seconds to give time for the blend. So we'll click each arrow and set the duration to two seconds. This will prevent any abrupt changes between the animations. Now that our animation graph is done, we can move to the next step, which will be the action graph. Right click to open it and then we'll drag it to this scene. Sometimes it doesn't show up immediately, so if you don't see it, save and reopen the scene again. Okay, so we'll try to reopen the graph and this time it opens. If we take a look at this graph, you'll see two custom events, one named start and one named stop. These are here by default and they control the idle and talking animations. So we don't need to edit these at all. Instead, we'll create two new events. These will be on custom events. Just be careful not to use the send custom event. We're going to use here the on custom event because these can be called from the convey extension. We'll name one dances and the other one kicks. These two custom events will essentially change a variable, that is the variable state. We'll drag state in so that we can overwrite it in each case. For the dance event, we'll write the value dances to the state variable. Note that this is the same name as the state. And we'll do the same thing for the kicks event, overwriting the state to have the value kicks. We're now almost ready to test it, but we first need to notify the extension that we have two new animations or actions. Here we'll type in dances and kicks with a comma separating them. Okay, to give it a test, let's go and click the play button. Hey Alex, can you show me a dance? Of course, let's get grooving. How about a kick? Can you show me one? You bet. Let me show you a roundhouse kick. That's fascinating. So where did you learn about all these dances and kicks? I've picked up a lot from online tutorials, friends, and my own practice. Hopefully you were able to follow the steps and should now have a good understanding of how to integrate new animations and actions into Omniverse with Convey. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. As always, if you have any questions or comments, feel free to write to us at support at convey.com.